Yes, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Program. Radha Krishna. Yes, please, ma'am. Rohan. Absent. Harpoon. Shubhodeep. Sorry, Shubhodeep. Yes, ma'am. Shanghita. Present, madam. Kulinam. Yes, ma'am. Ayush Kumar Sharma. Aritri. Momita. Present, ma'am. Nilago. Present, ma'am. Surabhi. Ria. Present, ma'am. Shandip. Yes, ma'am. Rahul Raja. Yes, ma'am. Shobhik Shet. Left. Shobhik Shaha. Yes, ma'am. Shamrat Dash. Prashanji. Yes. Present, ma'am. Lokesh. Yes, ma'am. Rahul Sina. Present, ma'am. Anamika. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Present. Shobhik. Yes, ma'am. Present. Borsha. Ajarun. Present, ma'am. Rahul Mirja. Shot them. Manit Brother. Yes, ma'am. Shondipon Doctor. Yes, ma'am. Arche Mridul. Mridul, sir, name kya kichhu? Ma'am, boss. Nee aaj hai na? Absent. Absent to. Ma'am, Mridul boss. I tell them it's a boss. Ma'am. चेक इ रंजू तो क्या देखो तो हाँ हाँ ठीक है तो एक देखो तो मैम सोबी कुनार सोबी सोबी दारा तुम जो लेटर आ रहे हैं तुम देखा सोबी देखा तो सोबी है ठीक है चल आर के वाले मैं आमार हूँ अच्छा आमार मैं आमे एक तो असली पन्ने में लेट कर जाने हुए चला तो तुम लोग क्या नो रिपोर्ट करो नहीं तो कौन ही सामने सामने ना आमे लिखे चला आमे असली बाइडे चला मैं म� शोमिक शहर अगले दिन पेंट चिलाऊं अपने शोमिक ओ दिया जो दिया जो माँ मिस्टर आप ही अगले दिन प्रेजेंट चिलाऊं आज तो डायरेक्ट से पेंट हम ही नाइट एस कॉल करते हैं जब नाम आज पे छे बोल दी थी कौन है ना मरी था तो 
ఒక్కంతో ప్రజెంట్ చేయడమా రోహన్ బరువ అజయని రాహుల్ యాజా ప్రజించలే రాహుల్ హాయ్ రాహుల్ బోలు రాహుల్ రాజా బోలు బోల్చి మేము ఆస్కి ప్రజెంట్ అయితే అది దిన్ చిలం నా కంప్లీట్ హలో তাহলে আমরা এরকম ব্যাপার হলে তোমরা সঙ্গে সঙ্গে হোয়াটসঅ্যাপে রিপোর্ট করে দেবে আর Attendance, I mean, I to do it. When I am taking the attendance in the Excel sheet, so try to be attentive at that time, so that it can be recorded in the sheet. And that is a fine. Uh, now, uh, I am sharing you a presentation. We will continue uh, the class. There, there we... Yeah. So, in the previous class, that is on Wednesday, we are... started a new uh, topic biodiversity and in that topic we have discussed some of the points including what is biodiversity what is the background of biodiversity what are the levels of biodiversity what are the values why biodiversity is giving uh, is gaining so much importance so these points have been covered in the previous class today we will move with a different angle of biodiversity where we will uh, have orpon join ko orpon roj late hocche kena orpon every day na mone chilo na actually ki holo to ami start kore diyechi ami excel sheet close kore diyechi amake abar korte hobe eta korle ki hobe tomar attendance ta miss hoye jabe chesta koro oi attendance er time ta te join korar tale khub bhalo hoy পরে আমাকে we will move with the uh, extended angle of biodiversity that means how this biodiversity is affecting uh, uh, the human world the balance environmental balance the ecological balance so before going into the into uh, the 
deeper study of biodiversity threats protection conservation let us focus on the uh, indian context that is how how india has uh, become or india is considered as one of the mega diversity nation that means among the 12 mega diversity countries in the world india is one it has two hot spots the geological events which is occurring in the landmass of india has provided conditions for high level of biological diversity that means india has uh a uh, varied uh climatic conditions climatic zones which extends its uh soil quality its uh weather patterns and distribution of living species and we will find that these variations induces enormous variability in flora and fauna and if we observe these variations in uh, uh, the indian uh, main land we will observe that it has different biogeographic zones and in this biogeographic zones it has different types of uh, weather different types of soil conditions Uh, uh, different types of living species distributions. So all these makes India richer in uh, a biological diversity. We will find that there are trans Himalayan region, so the upper regions, high altitude region, Himalayan region, including our uh, north uh, uh, western part, eastern Himalayas, central Himalayas. that the middle himalayas consider there are desert regions semi arid like the uh, central india gujarat there are western ghats which is considered to be one of the major uh, hot spots uh, there is peninsula deccans uh, plateau region central plateau highlands central highland plateaus and the most fertile land that is the gangetic plain upper and lower as well including all these there are other three uh, uh, conditions which is special importance which is north east india which is the uh, brahmaputra valley north eastern hills it is one of it is again the eastern himalayas again considered to be is another biodiverse hotspot region devoki and apart from this indian mainland there are islands also which has uh, also which are also rich in biota including our andaman nicobar uh, lakshadweep and the coral west west coast and the sorry and the coast which is the west and the eastern coast so if you observe this biogeographic distributions we will be known that this distributions these variations uh, these classifications Uh, includes varieties of uh, flora and fauna, and in it is being it is obviously it is a statistical data. It fluctuates, it changes, but just uh, uh, information that is uh, rough information is giving you idea about there are three fifty different mammals, twelve hundred species of birds, four fifty species of reptiles. 500 plant species of which most are angiosperms and there uh, uh, there are other cultivated crops and uh, indigenous uh, breeds uh, breeds of cattle sheep goats buffaloes we will also uh, uh, found that indigenous varieties of different cereals rice wheat are also grown there are plantation though it consists of uh, a floral uh, uh, context also all these makes india a rich and 
is considered to be a mega diversity nation now that is i have already said in the drastic climatic conditions mentioned Am I audible now? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Something has been occurred. My connection, uh, I was disconnected. So, uh, just uh, coming to the reasons. That means mega diversity reasons. Apart from the discussions we are continuing with, so let us consider on the main three reasons which makes India biodiversity or mega biodiversity nation. Number one is endemism. Now, are you familiar with this term endemism? What do you mean by endemism? What does it mean? Any idea? Maybe uh, you are not known the appropriate definition. That doesn't matter. Just uh, know the term endemism. The presentation of the discussion that we are going through, uh, the previous class, this class, will help much about your uh, coming assignments, those who are being on biodiversity conservation. That will give you uh, uh, much more information here. So let's focus on this. It's a very, very important topic for recent era. So what do you mean by endemism? It can be considered as an ecological state of being unique to a defined geographical location. That means uh, 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 it is particularly found or restricted to a particular area. Maybe it is uh, uh, mainly uh, found or restricted in a particular zone, in a particular habitat type. It is, it is, uh, uh, it, uh, or it may be found there only. They are indigenous to a particular place, and they may be found elsewhere. But uh, the center of origin is the is this nation India. So, can you uh, uh, give some example for that endemism? Any example, definite, unique to a definite geographic location. Or center of origin here, may be found in some areas, but center of origin is here. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So interesting topic. You can to any portion of the paro in your spare time. Did you endemic organisms, mammals, go to paro? Just one species. Just India. The definitely it is located in India. That has uniqueness that values in Indian context. प्रचुर তোমরা তো বলছই না কিছু এরকম বলছিল আমাদের ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল যেটা নর্থ ইস্টার্ন পার্ক সেখানে কত রকম তোমার কনজারভেশন এরিয়াস রয়েছে প্রোটেক্টেড এরিয়াস পার্টিকুলারলি ম্যাম গঙ্গার শুশুক বলে একটা আছে জানি ওটা তো বলতে যাচ্ছে বেঙ্গল টাইগার ইয়া শিওর শিওর ভেরি মাচ শিওর সো গুড ইয়েস 
these are endomers okay so uh, uh, now coming to the next the central origin central origin is very much similar that is endemism but just uh, i in, the, in in this case it has been considered that the species is indigenous that means it is originated in india maybe it is being distributed or maybe found nowadays in other parts also but the original uh, 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 main uh, origin is definitely of indian origin so in in that in that case marine diversity so this may be uh, this is obviously one of the region indian coastline the long coastline which exhibits a rich biodiversity including mangroves coral reefs uh, main coastline uh, so uh, uh, we have a very unique uh, mangrove distribution in west bengal there is sundarban uh, uh, forest sundarban mangrove forest so uh, the species there uh, are of endemic species and in this way we will uh, consider india to be mega biodiversity nation now let me move to the next slide hotspot what do you mean by hotspot there are a lot of things written in the slide that is areas which exhibits high species richness as well as species endemism that means the variety of species and endemic species these two conditions and more uh, 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 quantitatively or referring to the type properly or define properly that is it contains 0.5% of total vascular plants are endemic and at least 70% of the primary vegetation has been lost that means degraded or extinct so such type of vulnerable areas are considered to be hotspot region and in case in india there are two hotspot region one is the eastern himalaya and one is the western ghats now we have to go through the salient features eastern ghats and western himalayas what are the salient features why eastern ghats is considered to be the biodiversity hotspot and in that case i have given some of the points but you can add here more also mainly the regions is being pointed out here and uh, the reasons that means what type of endemic species are found what type of varieties of uh, species are found that has been recorded i am i am not reading the slide but just information is recorded in this pattern and western ghats it's a uh, very a uh, long street maharashtra then it's karnataka tamil nadu kerala and total 40% of endemic percent has 40% of total endemic plants here ayush kumar sharma joining right now and uh, the forests are ex existing today it has uh, been uh, deforested degraded and that is a uh, effect of land degradation uh, management Uh, of the uh, overpopulation urbanization supporting so such type of uh, uh, things which is being considered to be eco restorations eco restorations are being uh, very much active in this area in, in order to save this biodiversity hotspots and this and and these species reaches so in this way uh, the salient features can be counted now i will move towards the uh, classification okay so uh, here uh, uh, there is a, a, a there are some terms uh, relevant to uh, these species what are extinct endangered and endemic species some information are given uh, you can update the information as well so uh, here endemic species some of the endemic species are noted few endangered species are also found in indian hornbill the great indian hornbill you know that it's becoming endangered and if some of the species are endangered and the population reduces to enormous rate then it will enhance the ecological balance there which further leads to degradation of that particular ecosystem and might it causes loss of the ecosystem and variety which will further affect the Uh, uh, future uh, conditions, future eco 
ecosystems. So these, that's why uh, the main, uh, uh, just a uh, main, uh, main balance or main preservation is focused on these eco restorations, creating uh, the uh, previous uh, conditions or the plants which has been under threat. It should be encouraged for eco restoring the particular places. Plantations are being encouraged in order to uh, uh, maintain the ecological balance that has been somehow uh, disturbed due to definitely the most main reason is the man-made invention interventions. Now coming to the threats. Threats definitely the main cause of this extinction of the uh, ecosystem species, biodiversity, there are uh, 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 threats are, uh, uh, you, can, you can manage the threats as per your uh, 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 own way. Just I have tried to assemble here some of the threats of biodiversity. Uh, one of the major threats is the habitat destruction. It means the loss of habitat. Uh, that is encroachment in the wild area. Uh, destruction, landscape destruction of the natural habitat of wild animals. Leaving them with a, with a, a, a major problem, major cause uh, with a place or giving them nothing to leave uh, or not giving a place to leave it. As human population process uh, enormous growth in the population growth, uh, that means this degradation and transformation, that is uh, uh, deforestation, converting into the uh, urbanization. So uh, all these things leads to uh, agricultural transformation, plantation culture. All these leads to the destructions of habitat. Of course. And uh, in, for that reason, many of the plant species, even animal species, are becoming extinct and endangered. Uh, and uh, for pollution is also another reason for extinction, but um, that pollution is affecting uh, the biodiversity, uh, causing of uh, some uh, man-made activities are also activating the uh, species uh, disturbance, their uh, life form changes. Uh, and uh, the ecosystem, they leave their drastic changes in the pattern of rainfalls, in the pattern of vegetation covers, in the pattern of uh, climatic uh, variations that, that is enormously changing all these activities, affects uh, the uh, cause of extinction of this. Now coming to hunting, hunting, illegal hunting, poaching, all these are very much uh, uh, significant. Uh, uh, to which may lead to the cause of extinction of many hundreds of species. Uh, may, uh, some of uh, some of uh, consider the human, uh, just, just like elephant. Elephants are we know that they um, are being illegally uh, po uh, poaching is being very much relevant in case of elephants for their tasks in, and bones also. So such type of uh, rhino skin tigers, elephants, and for uh, uh, some, uh, some in, in, in the previous generations, the hunting becomes one of the sports, considered to be one of the sports and refreshments. For, that is very much affecting the biodiversity and extinction of species as well. And invasive, that means introduction of new species, invasive, which are not native to that particular place, but are being uh, planted, cultivated, such type of uh, uh, non-native species in a particular area can lead to the extraction uh, of uh, the endemic species in that region. If we if we if we are if uh, uh, we are forcing to introduce a particular new species in a region, it may feed on the uh, native species. It may uh, uh, feed or uh, create competition in between the native species. So this may result in uh, the extinctions of endemic species. And uh, uh, we, will, we will find such type of uh, uh, activities in some parts, other parts of the world as well. So uh, uh, the, uh, 
in case of uh, the uh, nile that is uh, the nile perch was introduced in the lake of victoria of africa which results in destructions of that particular biosystem in in, in this type of examples can also be included here that's why when we are when we are in our project of eco restoration it is very much essential to study the so, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, traditional uh, or indigenous species the quality of soil the weather pattern and the other uh, species which are very much endemic to that so thus that all study that all a uh, uh, research work is very much essential for eco restoration in a particular place it's a it's a huge uh, uh, world uh, to uh, study and to flourish and uh, uh, coming to uh, the international threats that is being uh, can be considered into poaching also uh, climate change uh, climate change that is the overall uh, shifting to a uh, more uh, hotter world that's due to this global warming uh, so the variety of the species which wants to grow uh, temperature due to water scarcity are very much affected uh, in in case of polar region also some of the habitat due to melting of glaciers have been lost and and the Uh, species which are just like polar bears, Arctic foxes, all these are uh, in a threat of losing uh, their habitats. So, uh, climate change, global warming are affecting a lot. And uh, these, uh, uh, including some of the sites, I want to show you this man, uh, man wild conflict. One of the major threat here. Why? because due to the development process india uh, uh, in mainly we, we can observe this type of activities in india also that means uh, 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 india uh, people are um, entering into the uh, protected areas or the forest provinces or the uh, particular land where the animals use as the corridor constructing of railway lines through the corridor where animals are Uh, regularly used the corridors. Now there will be definitely uh, there will be uh, uh, and if the loss of habitat, then in, there were also chances that human uh, animals are entering into the human province. In that case, also there will be man wild conflict. So such type of activities uh, even uh, can lead to the. disturbances in the patterns of distributions and then cause threat to species and variety of animals also poaching some of the pictures very recent pictures have given here and now coming to the uh, uh, conservation which is now our area of concern how we can conserve this biodiversity conservation of biodiversity i have tried to assemble all the conservations in a single project mainly the conservation principles uh, uh, are focuses on on site and off site protection that means in situ and ex situ in situ means uh, conserving the uh, species within its own habitat and ex situ conserving the species uh, in a habitat which is not native to that species uh, but somehow in a particular region So let's have uh, the flowchart here: conservation principle in situ and ex situ. In situ, uh, in case of ex situ, uh, we have this uh, geological garden, botanical garden, uh, 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 sacred plant, home garden, seed bank, gene bank. So this type of ex situ activities deals with conservation of genetic diversity mainly, mainly genetic diversity, mainly the endangered species away from their habitats, mainly in the laboratory. So uh, artificial means also can be included here. So such type of uh, 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 activities, uh, including the zoos, including the botanical garden, which can preserve a lot of uh, species. Uh, in which, uh, in in case of exotic conservation principles, different types of uh, 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 species which are becoming extinct 
or endangered cannot be seen in natural habitat can be preserved in uh, the uh, close uh, uh, periphery where they are regularly monitored and uh, they are preserved in that uh, also they are captive breeding pleasures uh, 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 are being also very much protected uh, to maintain or to keep their population or uh, their uh, size to grow uh, grow in a very uh, 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 protective way and in case of in situ conservation these categories are actually protecting and restoring the biodiversity according to iucn world conservation union protection area categories there are different types of categories peak protection ecosystem conservation and tourism conservation of natural uh, uh, features uh, uh, conservation through active management principle landscape and sea conservation recreation and sustainable use of natural resources so there are different types of categories but coming to strictly the protection of uh, uh, wildlife species wild animals uh, we, we we will find that this type of uh, strict protection areas or ecosystem conservation tourism areas are being uh, featured like bi biosphere reserves national parks for wildlife sanctuaries mainly uh, the target species reserve center like tiger reserves uh, uh, and also there are elephant uh, reserves there are uh, national parks are also in this categories and uh, there are uh, different uh, ecosystem tourism also where uh, conservation of ecosystems are being uh, uh, generally uh, you know, Consider with tourism factors that is national parks. Uh, we we all prefer to visit such places. We we are being uh, we enjoy the aesthetic beauties, the uh, the uh, presence of the wildlife there. But if we didn't think about the protection and the conservation, how they are being conserved, what the ecosystem can be restored. So uh, once we are dealing with that local area. we should be familiar with the global change that is being occurring that means if we put up a, a state towards plantation in your own local area which will affect totally the local area and the global environment as well so that contribution should be considered keeping in mind that this type of species must not extinct totally from the uh, uh, and and other activities like uh that are being uh, through management that means wildlife management and wildlife species management where the areas are being protected by using very much uh, uh, recent and sophisticated method the like gps remote sensing a uh, satellite imagery uh, all these are being focused monitoring regularly their movements their health by different uh, use uh, means and uh, the sustainable use of natural resources which is very important protecting the area mainly by using uh, the sustainable natural resource ecosystem so protecting the ecosystems in very much sense and that can be considered to reserve the resource to to work on the sustainable means of conservation principles so let's see that how this conservation uh, management is being uh, focuses on that the scientific wildlife conservation is socio economic and management sector so these type of uh, uh, multiple approaches activities are being uh, very much important in conserving the uh, ecosystems process and where from the funds are uh, circulating there are national funds global funds international areas where uh, the uh, biodiversity conservation practices are being uh, encouraged uh, that is there is convention on biological diversity the board of biodiversity uh, conservation all these are being very much active to provide funds for these management practices now it is a advance uh, these for that is from the slide 21 to uh, 40 it is very advance in biodiversity that is how the biodiversity is measured how the sample or uh, analysis is done so uh, uh, if you are interested so i can proceed with that it is very much uh, uh, relevant uh, to uh, practical application collecting the samples uh, recording the biodiversity indices 
studying uh, the biodiversity in, in this sense, and then planning for eco restoration and so on. So these are very advanced, and this is the basic knowledge of biodiversity which is included in the syllabus. So far we have discussed. Let's uh, uh, learn more things, gather more knowledge and information, and uh, uh, try to uh, uh, encourage yourself towards this uh, the conservation practice. Okay. मोटामुटी टू म Uh, uh, the information that I am providing in the presentation. She can make into modification. Kora jan. She niye ato chinta kichhu niye. So the area gulo dekhe na, je korte ke ekdom definite area to madhe page ho kina. Jero kum dhoroni bolchi hain. Hmm. Eja pollution it it its impact on environmental degradation. Aar ekte dekho ase. Soil pollution as a major contributor to environmental degradation. तब इखाने की तो दुटो environmental degradation रहो। इटा हो जो pollution overall pollution activities आये इटा हो जो soil pollution। शेखन ते के आमी अरेक्टा बापर बोलते चाहे जरा ये topic one याच हो माने pollution activities। इखाने तुमरा चेष्टा कोड दे जे जो तो pollution आचे शे activities गुलो के तुम्हारा मानोडाइिटी मैम इच्छा मानी 
देखो তখন তো তুমি প্রত্যেকটা সলিউশন বা প্রত্যেকটা অ্যাক্টিভিটিস এর কিছু সলিউশন তুমি পুট করছো যে এই সলিউশনটা হতে পারে যেরকম হ্যাঁ যেরকম ধরো গ্লোবাল ওয়ার্মিং ই বল ঠিক আছে গ্লোবাল ওয়ার্মিং এ কি হতে পারে উই हैव टू প্ল্যান্ট মোর এন্ড মোর ট্রিজ উই हैव टू ফোকাস অন দি কার্বন সিকুয়েস্ট্রেশন হাউ টু কনজার্ভ দি কার্বন ডাই অক্সাইড ইউটিলাইজ ফর डिफरेंट পারপাসেস ট্র্যাপিং দা কার্বন ডাই অক্সাইড এই যে সলিউশনস গুলো বলছো এই সলিউশনের কিছু অ্যাক্টিভিটিস যেগুলো যদি কি देखो मीडिया लोकलिटी डिस्पोजिंग मेंसिपल डस्ट मींस यू आर फॉलोइंग दिस सेग्रीगेशन प्रिंसिपल तो तार किचु छवि बा किचु शेगुलो तुमरा स्लाइडे दिछ ए रकम भाबे किंतु तुमरा तुमारे स्लाइड गुलोके साझा करथ ठीक आछे बोझा गाछे एबार केओ जदि कोनो केओ जदि कोनो एक्टिविटी ना करे ठीक आछे से क्षेत्रे किंतु तार स्कोर किंतु कम जाबे कारण अवेयरनेस एक्टिविटी एखाने किंतु आमी वेटेज मार्क्स किंतु 20% आछे बोझा <laughs> फार्स्ट नर्मल वाटर पल्यूशन सिलेक्ट कर 
তারপরে স্পেসিফিক করে রিভার ওয়াটার পলিউশন সিলেক্ট করেছি কিন্তু ওয়াটার পলিউশন সিলেক্ট করলে আমরা অনেক ভাস্ট এরিয়াটা পাচ্ছি না ওটা সিলেক্ট করলে কি হবে না দেখো ওয়াটার পলিউশন তুমি কেন অত ভাস্ট এরিয়া সিলেক্ট করতে যাবে তুমি রিভার ওয়াটার পলিউশন সিলেক্ট করেছো মানে তুমি খুব ভালো জিনিস সিলেক্ট করেছো তুমি একদম তুমি ওয়াটার পলিউশন যদি তোমাকে সিলেক্ট করতে হয় তাহলে তোমার হ্যাঁ অনেক ভাস্ট এরিয়া হবে তুমি ভাবছো অনেক মেটেরিয়াল পেয়ে যাব নিয়ে নেবো কিন্তু তুমি যদি আরো স্পেসিফাইড হও তাহলে তোমার সার্চটা ওই পার্টিকুলার এরিয়াতে আরো ভালো হবে ঠিক আছে তোমরা করো না তোমরা করো তারপরে সেরকম হলে মডিফাই করা যাবে কারণ ওয়াটার পলিউশন তো সেরকম ভাবে কারোর কাছে নেই হুম ঠিক আছে তোমরা করো তারপরে যদি মনে হয় যে রিভার ওয়াটার পলিউশনে থেকে বেশি তোমরা অ্যাজ এ হোল ইয়ে করতে চাইছো হ্যাঁ ওয়াটার পলিউশন অ্যাক্টিভিটিস বা এরকম ভাবে করা যেতে পারে ম্যান বেড অ্যাক্টিভিটিস ইনফ্লুয়েন্সিং ওয়াটার পলিউশন এরকম করা যেতে পারে ঠিক আছে এরকম ভাবে তোমরা অ্যাঙ্গেলগুলো দেখো আগে এবার তোমাদের কাজ হচ্ছে তোমাদের রিসোর্স এর উপরে জোর দেওয়া এক সপ্তাহ রিসোর্স এর উপরে জোর দেওয়া কে কিরকম ডেটা পাচ্ছ কে কি ইনফরমেশন পাচ্ছ কি অ্যাঙ্গেলে কাজ হবে কি কি পয়েন্ট অফ আমি বেসিক আইডিয়া সলিউশন এরকম ভাবে ভাগ করে করে খোঁজো খুঁজে স্লাইড গুলো বা ইনফরমেশন গুলো রেডি করো তারপরে যদি মনে হয় যে টাইটেল কিছু মডিফাই করতে হবে দ্যাট উইল বি অলওয়েজ বি ডান এটা দিয়ে চিন্তা নেই ঠিক আছে স্লাইডটা পজিটিভ করলে ভালো হয় মিনিমাম মিনিমাম 23 23 মিনিমাম আচ্ছা 23 হচ্ছিল তাই তো মানে ওই কমন স্লাইড গুলো ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে বাস কি 23 তে হয়ে যাবে তো মিনিমামে হ্যাঁ না হয়ে যাবে হ্যাঁ কেন রেফারেন্স দেবে তারপরে এই সব ছবি ছবি গুলো দেবে হয়ে যাবে 30 তো ম্যাক্সিমাম বলছি দেবে 30 বেশি হয়ে যাচ্ছে মানে আরো বেশি হতে পারে তাহলে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ বেশি হলে কোনো অসুবিধা নেই মনে রাখবে ওটাকে তোমরা অনলাইনে গিয়ে ওটা স্লাইড মানে সাইজটাকে রিডিউস করে সাবমিট করো इंडस्ट्रियल तैर মানে স্লাইড শো এসব দিয়ে রাখবো আর ট্রানজিশন এসব দিয়ে রাখবো আর আপনি যদি করেন তো এসব করে রাখবো না আমরা আমরা সিম্পল রাখবো শোনো আমি তোমার একটা কথা দেখ যদি ধরো অফলাইন বা অনলাইন হলো অফলাইন যদি হয় মানে আমি চাইবো যে তোমরাই প্রেজেন্ট করো ঠিক আছে আমরা আমার প্রেফারেন্স চাইবো যে কেউ যদি মানে ধরো প্রেজেন্ট করতে পারলো না ফর কোন গ্রুপ হয়তো ডেটা নেই বা কিছু নেই যাই হোক সেক্ষেত্রে আমি হয়তো করতে পারি কিন্তু আমি চাইবো সবসময় যারা বানিয়েছে তারাই প্রেজেন্ট করবে অনলাইন হোক বা অফলাইন যাই হোক তোমাদের মধ্যে যে কেউ একজন ভলেন্টিয়ার করবে সে প্রেজেন্টেশনটা চালু করবে আর কনজিকিউটিভলি যাদের যেরকম ভাবে তোমরা নিজেদের প্রেজেন্টেশনকে রিপ্রেজেন্ট করার সিকোয়েন্স যাচ্ছো সেরকম ভাবে একজন একজন করে বলবে এক একটা করে স্লাইড চেঞ্জ হবে আর বলবে এরকম ভাবে হবে আমি শুধু অবজার্ভ করব সেদিন আমার এরকমই প্ল্যান আছে যদি কারোর কোনো অসুবিধা হয় সেটা সে এরকম হলে খুব মানে সুবিধা হয় सपोज আমরা যদি কিছু লিংকস আমরা দিয়েছি তো আপনাকে খুলতে হবে যদি সেই লিংকস গুলোকে যদি চাইবো আমি চাইবো সব সময় যারা যারা রেডি করেছে তারাই প্রেজেন্ট করুক এটাই আমার প্রেফারেন্স यस मैम ওটাই বেটার হবে যদি আমরা আমাদের এন্ড থেকে যদি সবকিছু করি যদি তাহলে আমরা मैम সবকিছু তৈরি করে রাখবো আগে থেকে টাইমটা ওয়েস্ট হবে না डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली 
ঠিক আছে এক সপ্তাহ আরো কাজ করো ঠিক আছে কোনো হেজিটেট করবে না যে কোনো মুহূর্তে যদি মনে হয় তোমাদের আমি তো রেসপন্ড করি তোমরা দেখছোই আমি রেসপন্ড করব কোন সময় যদি কোন ফোন তুলতে না পারি রেসপন্ড করতে না পারি চেষ্টা করবে আমাকে একটা হোয়াটসঅ্যাপে ইনফরমেশনটা টেক্সটটা করে রাখা আমি ঠিক সময় মতো তোমাদের রেসপন্ড করে দেবো ঠিক আছে কোন রকম হেজিটেশন নয় একদম ফ্রি ইউ আর ফ্রি টু কন্ট্যাক্ট মি অ্যাট এনি টাইম রিগার্ডিং অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট অর এনি একাডেমিক ম্যাটার্স ওকে ঠিক আছে আমরা নেক্সট ওয়েডনেসডে অ্যাজ ইউজুয়াল টাইমে ওই সাড়ে দশটা থেকে এই ক্লাস না নেক্সট ওয়েডনেসডে হ্যাঁ ওই সাড়ে দশটায় ধরে রাখো তবু আমি তোমাদের যতই যাই আমি বকা বকি করি না কেন পরে জয়েন করলেও কিন্তু বলবে বকা বকি তো আমি করবোই লেট করে জয়েন করবো ঠিক আছে আমি দিয়ে দিয়েছি আর কেউ আছো যার অ্যাটেন্ডেন্স রেকর্ড হয়নি যদি তোমাদের একটু কনফিউশন হচ্ছে তাহলে আমি একবার শেয়ার করে দিচ্ছি এক্সেল শিট একবার দেখে নাও তাহলে ভালো হবে দেখতে পাচ্ছ হ্যাঁ স্ক্রল করছি প্রত্যেকে দেখে নাও প্রত্যেকটা যারা এখন আছো প্রেজেন্ট